so we have um, designs by on here assembling a floral runner for us on site all right let me try to give you a full tour of what we've got going on here so you've got a little lounge this is going to be our food table and our bar and then over here we have some cocktail tables just set with a pretty little flower and you walk in here and this is our fitting room lounge so we had this pipe and drape set up like a fitting room now this is the showroom set up for the bloggers to come in and learn about Vanity Fair lingerie okay so let's talk about this table runner for a second so for my mom's 70th birthday my sister had this idea and we we had a table runner made like this for mom's brunch now we are reusing the idea for this event and it's looking fantastic. Let's talk about all these gorgeous flowers that they brought for a second. They are stunning and coming together beautifully. You guys, the runner is complete. And it's hurting me because it's so stunning. Wow. See the green burger? That's where I'm going. guys setup is over for the event and now we are setting up for our holiday box and Maggie made a runner out of ornaments today was a work hard and work hard kind of day it's time to sit back and have a glass of wine New York Okay, so I just took out the ingredients and I've got one megalicious problem. There is no garlic, so I might have thrown it out or they didn't send it. So I took my friend Danielle's key to her apartment and I'm up here because she told me she's got tons of garlic. Bingo! I'm back downstairs. It's time to cook. I'm very, very hungry. Okie doke, so my water is boiling. So now I'm going to add my basil fettuccine and they say to break it apart with your fingers first, gently. All right, we've got our pasta boiling and I'm going to add zucchini and garlic to this hot frying pan now. There's nothing I enjoy more than the smell of sauteed garlic. So I've been sauteing the zucchini garlic with tomatoes and a little bit of red pepper flakes, which you could always leave off and garnish at the end. Last step was to add some of the reserved pasta water to the pan and the pasta and stir vigorously. Oh, and butter. 